Did you know that you can increase your average order value? By upselling and cross-selling, you invite the customer to purchase more expensive items, upgrades or other add-ons to generate more revenue. But that's not all. You can also use goal campaigns. The spend goal campaign has the primary purpose of increasing your average order value, or AOV. AOV varies depending on industry, clientele, country and other factors, so make sure you are aware of your store's current AOV. A good rule of thumb would be to always set the goal slightly higher than your current AOV. Goal campaigns also have a secondary purpose, to gamify the visitor's purchase experience by setting quests or missions, amplified through eye candy graphics and catchy customizable text. Fortunately, the goal campaign is also easy to understand for both merchants and customers, so let's get started. With our Upsell Builder app, it's now easier than ever to create goal campaigns and increase your average order value. You can find the Upsell Builder app under the Boost Revenue category. You'll notice more Upsell apps here, and we'll continuously add even more in the Upsell Builder app, so stay tuned. There's no better time to be a Vitals user. You'll first notice these two tabs. The General Settings tab is where you can decide if you want to show the star rating from the Product Reviews app, and add translations if your store is in another language. In the other tab, Excluded Products, you can exclude certain products from being automatically used by our upsell apps. All you have to do is click on Select Products and choose the ones you want. Now that we discuss what's generally available for all apps within the Upsell Builder, let's talk a bit about what you need to do to make sure your offers will run smoothly. If I scroll down, we get to this section, where we're provided with some information. In order for the app to function properly, we need to make sure that these four conditions are met. First, you need to enable your store's cart page. You can't have drawer, pop-ups or dynamic carts if you want to use our upsell apps. In order to enable the cart page, all you have to do is follow this guide here. You'll get step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. Next up, you can have multiple upsell or cross-sell apps installed on your store. While all apps within Vitals work seamlessly and don't come into conflict with each other, if you use for example Vitals product bundles and an external upsell app, those will come into conflict and will not work properly. For a detailed explanation, click on this link and have a read. Moving along, in order for discounts to be applied properly, you need to disable custom checkouts. As it's clearly stated, upsell apps only work with the Shopify standard checkout. For more details, you can click on this hyperlink and you'll be provided with more info. Lastly, dynamic checkout buttons. You need to get rid of them. In order to do so, you need to enable the High Dynamic Checkout Buttons app in Vitals. Click here and turn it on. That will mean that your customers will not be able to pay via PayPal or Apple Pay for example. They'll have the opportunity to do this in the checkout. With that, we are ready to start using the Upsell Builder app, more specifically Goal Campaigns. Under the Offers tab, you see all the goal campaigns you have already created. Obviously, if you're new to Vitals, this list will be empty, so let's remedy that by creating a new one. But before I do that, it's worth mentioning that, although technically possible, as Vitals Upsell Builder does provide the capability to create multiple campaigns simultaneously, it is best to keep only one goal campaign active at any given time. This is to ensure the best user experience by keeping the goal simple concept simple. All you have to do to create a new goal campaign is to click on this button. At the top, you first need to name your new offer. This name is only visible to you, so make sure you choose a name that's easily recognizable and makes sense, so you can find it without a problem later on. Since this is just for show, I'm going to call it Test1. Underneath, you can enable or disable the offer. You can also do this from the main dashboard as well. I'll show you that a bit later on. Now for the fun part, choosing the products that will be included in the offer. Just click here and you'll get this pop-up. Now you have two options. In this new offer, you can include any product that you have for sale or a specific product or products from a collection. When it comes to specific products, you can select any product you want. You also have the option to select multiple products. For collections, you can select one or as many as you want. The products found in the selected collection will be part of the goal campaign. A cool new feature is that you can now select both a product or products alongside a collection, as you can see in the bar below. This way, you don't have to create endless campaigns. Just create the one, quick and easy. Here, we reinforce the suggestion to keep it simple. For customers to easily understand, we recommend using the Any Product option. However, if you do want to promote a specific collection or a handful of products, be sure to make this clear in the text formatting section, with precise phrasing like Spend Y sum in accessories to get X discount. Once you've selected the desired products, you have the option to set the spend goal. How much do you want your customers to spend before you offer them a discount? Whatever that amount is, add it here. We can now move on to discounts. You can select the discount type, if it should be a percentage of the total amount or an exact sum. The next section lets you customize the look and feel of the app to better match your store's branding. You can select between a circular progress bar or a linear one. 
Set the start and end color of the gradient, select the texture and the icon. Whenever you make a change, you can see a live preview here on the right. Next up, you can customize the messages. You can write whatever catchy text you want, but please don't mess around with the syntax. The app will automatically populate the message with the correct information. You can also change the text color and size to your liking. You can select on which pages you want the offer to appear on and if you want the campaign to show both on desktop and mobile. To further enhance the customer's UX, Vital provides the show widget on non-product pages when the goal is at 0% setting, which prevents the widget from being displayed on the non-product pages, like home page, collection page and cart page, when the visitor hasn't added to the cart any eligible product from the goal campaign. Lastly, you can manually align the widget and customize the text that shows up near the discount on the cart page. Your newly created gold campaign will appear at the top of the list. Here you can see its name, the products that are a part of it, the offer type if it's a product bundle or a volume discount for example, and its status. This is where you can turn it on and off. All that's left to do now is turn on the app and check your store. So let's see, we created a campaign for all products. If I go to the store and select a product, I should be offered the gold campaign widget. Yep, here we go. For the moment, let's go to the cart page. I'm still a long way away to achieving the goal, so let's add some more quantity. As you can see, once I'm past the threshold, the discount shows up and we get the congrats message. One last piece of advice, if you want to delete an offer, click on it, scroll all the way down and click delete. That's it for the goal app. If you have any other questions, you can always check out our help center or get in touch with our customer support team. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel as we post new videos every single week. If we can help with anything, please let us know. Our customer support team is available 24-7. Thanks for watching and see you soon.